وحن رو آمر کاره این انسان قیم بدن شو گذیو. Jubilance President Ahmed Islam Madobe, while speaking at the opening ceremony of the state's parliamentary sessions, praised the Jubilance Parliament for preserving and working under extremely tough conditions, including the constant threats and interference from the federal government of Somalia. Madobe, who is serving his third term as the regional president in his address, said his administration is currently working on devolving the government to bring services closer to local communities and uniting the fiscal systems and the treasury. The fight against al-Shabaab, he said, is the most important priority, adding that plans are underway to retake the state capital, Buale, from al-Shabaab. Madobe, who has been at loggerheads with the country's leadership in Mogadishu, has said that the security situation in the country has deteriorated under the current federal administration. Jubalan now accuses the country's current federal administration of sharing a lot of practice with al-Shabaab, raising the possibility of there being cooperation between the two. The state argues that parts of the country that were free when they came to power are now under al-Shabaab. Kismoy also believes that President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo can't be entrusted with any of the government's institutions as they have misused the National Army, Judiciary and the Intelligence Agencies, control of the airspace and the country's finances. The interference in the affairs of the member states, they say, is a policy adopted by the current federal administration that will never succeed and its efforts to bribe leaders to follow their ideologies and doctrines are born to fail. President Ahmed Islam Madobe, while addressing parliamentarians, also accused the central government of Somalia of countless attempts to bribe him to stand down and agree with all the current administration's policies. Although Madhubi was staff talking man in his address, the underlying statement in his speech was his readiness for dialogue with the federal government of Somalia under the constitutional framework and arbitration. The power tussle in Somalia is the latest instance of tensions between Mogadishu and its regional government. Jubiland authorities in August accused Mogadishu of interfering in its election and seeking to remove President Ahmed Islam Madobe and get a loyalist in power to increase its control. Madobe is a key ally of Kenya which sees Jubaland as a buffer zone against al-Shabaab fighters who have staged several bloody attacks across the border. Kenya has been further drawn in the conflict as it is accused of harboring a fugitive Jubaland minister who was arrested by Mogadishu for serious crimes but fled from prison in January. Tensions between the neighboring countries are also high because of a spat of our maritime borders, with possibly lucrative Indian Ocean oil and gas reserves at stake.